Hi, welcome to the third tip in our sort of uh, five ideas and tips for using Sam Broadcaster. This one is about file naming and file tagging. Uh, so it's sort of less, I suppose a little bit less about Sam, more about um, files themselves. Uh, let's have a look at this folder. Right, okay, so this is a typical folder as I would have it. Uh, for uh, an, an album. Now, I'm not going to go too much into the naming convention I've used here. This is just my own personal preference for doing this. It doesn't matter too much because obviously everything gets tagged. Uh, I've seemed to have noticed actually that if you don't tag something, Sam ignores it. So, uh, so you will have to tag your music. And, but the track I want to pay attention to here is track six on this uh, particular album. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just step into Sam and I'm going to add that album in here. So it's actually on my desktop. So I put it on my desktop so it's easy to find. Okay. Right. What you'll notice here is that track six is this really nasty version of Girl on Fire, which I'm so pleased to say didn't wasn't the one chosen for most radio play because it's pretty bad compared to I mean, it's okay in its own sort of right but it's uh but it was but compared to the one that was chosen for radio play the radio edit it's um it's 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 a bit rubbish you know no offense to Nicky Minaj but you don't you know you don't do it any good at, you don't do it any justice at all so this track as you'll notice here if I go to the song info says artist Alicia Keys featuring <clears throat> Nicki Minaj. Now that's how I used to previously always do my artists. So if a you know if you had a single, less so on an album actually, but if I had a single, I would always put Alicia Keys and then put in brackets featuring Nicki Minaj exactly as you see there. The problem is with Sam, it sees it as a different artist because you know if you go to config and playlist rotation rules, these rules here which are currently set up to the crazy defaults um, do not play this album 60 minutes, do not play the same artist 120 minutes. Let's hope you, you've got more music to have, have a little bit more variety than that, but uh, it will basically mean that it can actually play this track followed by this track if it's looking at the artist, because they're different artists. So what I decided that you would, that, you know, it's going to be, it's going to be necessary to do is if I hang on a second, I'm trying to find my way around what I'm doing here. Where's that program gone? Oh yeah, here, right. Okay, so this is the MP3 tag is the program I use to um, to tag stuff. So rather than have it featuring Nicki Minaj, always have the artist as the same. So so change that to Alicia Keys and have Girl on Fire. Uh, you've got Girl on Fire Inferno version. And maybe put maybe put after that featuring Nicki Minaj. Because it doesn't matter about the title. Because the title you don't want to get replayed anyway. So. so there we go. So if I just uh, remove and re-add that directory. Oh, hang on a second. Oh, I didn't. Did I save it? I'm not sure I saved it, actually. Anyway, okay, you, if you want, you can ed edit it in in here. And do save tag. And that actually saves it to the MP3 file, then. Any edits that you make. Do a refresh. And there we go. Now we have an album which has all the artists as the same. And this is imp an important point to consider, and that's the main tip here. Uh, just consider the artist names that you use so that your playlist rotation rules work. Because if you've got slight variations, uh, I'm not sure about the, the use of the word the at the start, because I know Sam sort of strips that, strips that out when it's listing stuff and when it's searching for stuff, but it, I think it might still see it as a different artist. So if you've got killers and the killers, then... That sees that will be seen as a different artist, and there's there's loads of examples where you'll probably look through your music if you've got anything over sort of a couple of thousand songs. You'll you'll look through your music and you'll see that loads of the artists are actually the same. They're just named slightly differently, and that's no good when you've got a playout system like this because it's just a database. Anything you stick into it that's that's garbage, you're going to get the bad results out of it. So 
try and try and get a good naming convention going, a good artist naming convention going, and it'll make things run a lot smoother in Sam. 